Hello and welcome to Logic ERP. We are glad to announce that the option of Business Insights is now available for offline users as well. You just need to go through a two-minute installation process. Let's see how to do it. Click on Start button and you will see Business Insights at the top. Click to open it. You will see a menu that contains a number of options to view sales data. When you'll try to open any one of them, a message will be prompted asking you to install Microsoft Edge WebView. Click on Yes to install it. You will be headed to a website from where you can download the setup. Choose the installer as per your operating system. Accept the terms and conditions. The installer will be downloaded. Now run the installer. The installation process will take about a minute. Installation has been done. Close the Business Insights window and open it again. Now when you will try to open any of the reports, the message of installation will not be prompted. Click on Generate icon to create the report. The Live Sales option shows you the sale of current date and time. You can see the highest bill value and highest bill quantity of the day. The total sale of the day is also being displayed in value and quantity. Then you can see three graphs on the basis of quantity, number of items and bill value. Hover the cursor over the graph to see the data in numbers. This means that there are 18 such bills which contain two items. This shows the number of bills on the basis of bill value range. You can also see the sales over different hours of the day. The report is clearly showing the sale value during different hours of the day, along with sale quantity and contribution to the grand total. Then you can also see the average values. Filters have also been given. The customer metrics option shows you the trends of sales as per different customer demographics. You can see how many new customers have been registered in a day. Then you can also compare the sales of new and repeat customers. The registration of customers can be viewed as per different weekdays, cities and branches. You can also get to know the favorite categories and brands as per males and females. This data is required to keep sufficient stock of the items that are purchased mostly by the customers. The sales have also been bifurcated according to the age range and birthdays. The store performance option is used to analyze the performance of a branch. It will automatically show the data of the branch that you are currently logged into. The performance is measured by sale value, sale quantity and number of bills. You can also see the monthly sales trend for last three years. This graph compares the month-wise sales of last three years. Then you can also compare the sales over different days of the week. Scroll down a bit and you will see brand-wise sales summary. In this data, you can check the sales of which brands have grown and which have declined as compared to the last month. Similar data is being displayed in category-wise sales summary. 
so you can check the growth and decline of different categories. From this pie chart, you can check the sales according to different payment modes. It can clearly be seen that most sales are done through cash. The rate range wise sales summary exhibits the sales according to sale rate of the items. The last four graphs in this window depict the top 10 brands and bottom 10 brands and the top 10 categories and bottom 10 categories. Periodic sales analysis exhibits the sales data according to different time periods like years, quarters, months, days. You can use the filters given here as per your needs. Hover the cursor over the graph bar to see the data in numbers. You can even change the design of the graph from pie chart to bar graph and vice versa. This is the monthly sales analysis. The hourly sales analysis report can be expanded down right from years till the weekdays. Time is being shown in the top row. So this is the sale data from 11 to 12 a.m. on a Saturday in the month of May. You can switch to full screen mode. Click on show panel button to open a list of fields. You can untick the fields that you do not want to see in the report. You can also change the rows and columns of the report simply by dragging the fields. Clicking on this button will allow you to fully expand or contract the report. To hide the panel, click on the panel button. Click on Excel button to export the report in Microsoft Excel. Click on Print to print the report. You can also choose to view the report in tree style format, which is more easy to understand and comprehend. Click on Toggle Subtotals to remove the subtotals. Now only grand total will be visible. The sales analysis option lets you interpret your sales according to all the factors, be it time period, branch, brand, category, etc. You can switch to category wise sales analysis from brand wise analysis and vice versa in a single click. The detailed sales analysis report lets you view the sale data according to all the factors in a single report. You can expand down the report accordingly. You can also remove or add fields simply by ticking and unticking them. So categories have been removed from the report. The interactive sales analysis helps us to identify new opportunities and threats by quickly summarizing large amounts of data. There are three tabs in this option. These filters are used for report creation, whereas the filters given outside simply filter the data in the already created report. You can see the total sale value, quantity and bill count. It is clearly being shown that there is a growth in the sales as compared to last month. There are more time periods to compare with the current one. You can also see some average values. The sales analysis tab gives a deeper comparison in contrast to the sales summary tab. There are different graphs for yearly, quarterly, monthly and daily sales analysis. A line graph has been used for comparing sales of every month of the year. You can also check which day of the week had the maximum sales. The pie charts clearly display the top 5 brands and top 5 categories by sales value. The bottom most report makes a comparison according to every factor like branch, category, brand etc. and helps you to easily make an analysis of a growth or decline in a single report.
You can make use of these options as per your needs, which have already been explained earlier. Third tab is the Sales Register tab, which only shows the sales data of different fields. It does not make a comparison between different time periods or factors. So you can't really make an analysis out of this report. Its only purpose is to display data in quantity and value. You can export the report into Microsoft Excel or also choose to print it as it is. Thank you for watching this video. For more software related updates, kindly subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell icon.